Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Cammy. We're at home again. We're just getting Smurf ready for a short weekend. This is our weekend that we're testing various things out uh, that we've bought and that we've got ready for the Euro Tour that starts in just two weeks time. So let's get ready. I've um, got a few things to do. We're on the drive here, so uh, and it's blistering hot. Uh, you see I'm sweating buckets here just doing nothing. Uh, Sue's helping me with a few tasks so um, I'll speed one or two of them up as well. We're going to test out this weekend uh, a new toilet chemical, something that I've been talking with Bob Earnshaw about um, and he's been using this for a year now. It's um, a chemical called Sol Bio and I'll show you what that looks like. So here we are, I've got my keys for my uh, uh, locker here. This is what we've been using, it's the, um, the Elson um, Organic, uh, which is a green fluid. I've been using that for a couple of years now, and uh, this is what we're switching to. And we're going to trial it this weekend. Um, it's in a bag, which seems a bit strange, um, but I'm in a lucky situation that I can keep this bag in my locker here. Um, because the locker has a little space here where you can put um, your bottle. Uh, normally, I would sit the bottle on there like that and the tank would go behind it and, and I could still uh, shut the door. So I'm hoping that the bag will be the same. I'll try that in a moment. Um, got my gloves there. So I'm going to pop my gloves on and I'm going to put in four millilitres of this Sol Bio into my tank. Now I've thoroughly cleaned this um, this morning out right at the back of the garden uh, giving it a good hosing down and uh, cleaned it and there's no remaining fluids none of the old fluids in there it's squeaky clean and, and uh, taking some time to do that so let's get the Sol Bio in and uh, show you what it looks like. Well, I hope you can see what I'm doing here I've got um, this little jug I was hoping to get a smaller one but this is the little jug that uh, Sue used to use for her uh, steam iron. I've stolen it, so she'll have to get another one. But um, the, the uh, bag, as you can see, has um, got a tap on it. I've taken the, the lock off the tap, and it now looks like one of those wine bags that you can buy in uh, supermarkets. But uh, I'm going to drop uh, just under, it's marked 50, but I'm going to drop just under 40 litres in there. Hmm, immediately I've done that, I can smell quite a piney smell. I forgot to take the seal off, but it came off anyway. Um, let's pop that there for now. Quite a piney smell. It looks like a... <laughs> it looks like a brown fluid, doesn't it? But uh, there's about 40 mils there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, drop that straight into my tank through here. That's about it. And it does say on here you just use fl uh, pl clear flush water and it uh, will keep the water clean and fresh, a 40 mil dose up to uh, 0 to 20 litre tank capacity. This is about a 20 litre tank so we could um, go to red light scenario and that would still cover it. It says prevents build up of deposits and algae, keeps water clean and fresh, prevents foul odours, keeps the tank and plumbing free from deposits of fats, powerful natural uh, self cleaning properties, prevents the build up of lime scale, waste and urinary, urinary solids. Um, but there's, there's 40 doses in, uh, in that bag and it says 100% organic and uh, that's the reason we're doing it. And there we are. I've also put the uh, Elson Organic in with the Soul Bio, just in case we can't get on with it. I think we'll be fine, but uh, belt and braces. I'm sitting up in the cab here now in Sue's passenger seat here, and I've got a uh, another a little adaptation to our sat nav. We, um, we've got the, the, the Tourer 1, is it? Tourer 2. Um, 
We've got the Garmin sat nav, uh, which is by the Caravan and Motorhome Club uh, with a seven inch screen. And up until now, I've been sticking it on the windscreen, which is quite high up. And uh, it makes it difficult really to sort of keep looking up at the thing. Um, the craft has got a, a very, um, <clears throat> well it isn't a flat dashboard there's lots of pockets and things which I'll show you um, so I've not been able to find a, a satisfactory way of mounting this on the dashboard that doesn't give me a crick in the neck um, until now and another one of Bob Earnshaw's um, little gadgets um, thank you Bob uh, for drawing my attention to this got it from Halford 16.99 it's a little flat um, rubberized uh, pad which is quite heavy with the swan neck on the top which fits to the back of your sat nav um, as you can see uh, it, the base of it is flexible so it, it is able to fit on the dashboard um, I'll spin the camera around and give you a look at that so as you can see um, we plug in our uh, uh, dash cam and sat nav from here uh, on the, on the uh, dashboard here I've got a um, 12 volt socket with an adapter in. We can also plug our phones into USBs here. Quite a useful little thing and that fits in a cup holder which um, again very neat and tidy. Um, this cable here goes up to the uh, dash cam uh, and then the, the one that I've got in my hand here I'll just show you. Here the Garmin one plugs in and I've just cable tied it so it's not too long and that will go along the dashboard here and into the back of, of the um, sat nav and here's the little gadget I was telling you about as you can see lots of pockets along the dash here so there's no flat surfaces in the, in the crafter but uh, there you go look it's, uh, it's shaped itself in the heat of the sun it's shaped itself so I can sit that in the middle or to the one, one side of this uh, uh, pocket and let's put the sat nav on and you'll see how it sits in there. And there we are, the sat nav all ready to be uh, lit up and set up in the centre of the uh, of the dashboard. And that's pretty firm there, it's not going to wibbly wobble about on the base. It's pretty good and sits in there quite nicely. So anybody with a crafter uh, and this type of sat nav, uh, perfect solution. And now it's time to do the bicycles. And there we have two secure bikes, Sue. Mm. And uh, the cargo net really is, is an idea that I got from one of our American um, YouTubers. Uh, done thousands of miles across the States and uh, they recommended these cargo nets to stop the bike cover from flapping about and 
and that naturally tearing in the either hot or cold weather. So uh, that makes sense to me. And it, all, it keeps it all nice and snug. Uh, and we've just hooked the cargo net onto the bike rack at the bottom all the way around. <laughs>